Hi guys, it's me, Miss Melissa. Want to stop you? If you haven't seen part one, you're going to want to view that one first. So stop this video and go back and watch part one first. If you have, then let's just go back down memory lane for just a quick sec. So this was it, ground zero, day one. It looked a little rougher than this. It had actual screening on there that was all tore up and messed up, but we got over it. And if you've seen part one, obviously you know the porch looks totally different than this. But my last few processes of getting the house ready was getting wood for the, to make the gate to go on the fence. So as I tackled that and... um this little easy gate from a hardware store is one of the easiest things to put together. I did these two gates by myself. So it was a really easy process. But what did help me was having two drills. As you could see there, I, I had two drills because one, you have to create the hole. Then you have to drill the, the nail, the uh, screws in. So that helped me to keep from having to ch exchange the um, little bits out every time. But I finally got the frame of the gate on as you see here and um, it was really really an easy process I must say um, difficult only because you I was doing it by myself but it was very educating as it were and I, I liked how it turned out so um, that was a learning process Next step of action was to um, make sure everything was okay to get the electricity cut on. As you can see, yay, power. I loved being able to click the light switch and see that there was power. And of course I had to see the wonderful electric fireplace up against the wall turned on and the hall lights and all the different lights and check the ceiling fans and make sure that they worked as well. So you guys remember this door, it's the back door. And remember what I said, I really, 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 really want it to go here. Do you remember? It's my Dutch door. <laughs> yes, I was able to get my Dutch door done through sweat and wrestling and everything all over my hands. See how dirty my hands is, but it was all worth it. I just buckled down one day and set out to make this my entire project. And it only took me the morning part of the day. I cut, had my husband cut the door in half, but I did the rest just by my design. So what you're about to see is my design. Don't be fearful. The hinges are on the outside, but that's the way I wanted it. Don't be scared. There's locks, but we'll get to that later. But in the meantime, enjoy viewing my Dutch door. So now that that part is done, my next and final step was to um, get the house cleaned and ready for showing. So even though a lot of things are removed from the house, I still had a final cleaning to do and I needed to put stuff where it could be 
packed up and removed out of the house. So um, that's where this part comes in. And boy, oh boy, it was a job. But I'm glad I had someone else to do it for me. I'm so grateful. So guys, even though I wanted it to take me only six months, which is 183 days, it actually took me 206 days. So I went a little over, but you know, piece by piece, inch by inch, I'm glad that it's all done and open house. Here we come. Join me next time. Thanks guys for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to my page and share it if you like. Have a good one.